It was night before he found the house. Dirty big city rain washed over his glasses, blurring and distorting the quiet suburban street. He had to stoop low to read on the letterbox. The name was written in minuscule, cursive, old lady handwriting on baby blue paper. He thought again of the notebook he had dropped somewhere, most likely in the back seat of that cigarette-stinking car. The lady's name and address had been in there, along with everything else he needed to remember. But thinking about the notebook only made him anxious, so he forced his eyes toward the house instead. It was a gloom-gray, two-story building at the far end of the street, away from lights and traffic. The garden was overgrown with weeds, and the untrimmed hedge rose high above his head, though people often told him he was tall. He didn't look forward to spending the night in a place like this, but he hadn't looked forward to anything in a long while. Pressing one arm to his forehead to keep the whipping rain out of his face, he opened the gate and slipped inside. His knocks were loud and rude, but his windbreaker was too thin for rainy late fall nights, and he had never liked being wet. There were no lights on inside, not even the blue glow from a TV. He knocked again, then wiped the glasses with his dripping sleeve. No sounds but the drumming rain, no footsteps or voices, nothing until the door was unlocked hurriedly and that woman stood there. Her eyes reminded him of the snarling Rottweiler that had bitten him as a child. They were small and inky and brimming with accusations of this kind or that. He was much taller than she, but she was firm and fat and seemed carved out of alabaster. While her face was round and moon-like, the top of her head was oddly small and pointy. Her scalp covered with sparse, coffee-colored hair pulled into a knot the size of a baby's fist. Yes. Something about her deep voice unnerved him. It's about the room. He reached into his soggy front pocket, then remembered the loss of the notebook. I wrote to you. Sorry, I should have come earlier, but the man in the car took the wrong turn. <laughs> 